Steve believed in you. He trusted you. Why'd you give up that shield? I did what I thought was right. The legacy of that shield is complicated. I am Captain America. I know all he has to do. A word of advice then. Stay the hell out of my way. We bled for this country. Shield or no shield. I'm not gonna let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. Welcome back, everyone. Marvel just dropped a brand new Falcon and Winter Soldier episode five trailer video, so we'll break it down. There's a whole bunch of new footage and Easter eggs. Big battle for the shield. So if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the episodes. I believe there's also some footage in here from episode six, the finale as well. There's only six episodes of Falcon and Winter Soldier, if you guys didn't know. It'll be the same for Loki. There'll be more episodes of Marvel's What If series this summer, and I believe the She-Hulk series, which is supposed to come early next year, around the same time WandaVision dropped, that'll also be nine episodes like WandaVision was. Some of the Marvel TV series are going to be nine episodes. Some of them are going to be six episodes. The ones with fewer episodes, though, will be longer. Like Falcon and Winter Soldier episode five and episode six are both longer than 60 minutes. They'll be the longest episodes of the series so far. But obviously careful for spoilers for everything that's happened on the series so far if you have not been watching the episodes. We start with a brand new footage of John Walker having this three-way standoff with Falcon and Bucky who have come to confront him over his brutality just crossing the line against that flag smasher killing the guy at the end of episode four. The Captain America fanboy killed by the symbol that he admired as a child. How darkly ironic. They're not being very subtle with some of their metaphors here. John Walker sitting there crouched down in the warehouse with his head resting on top of the shield. You can actually see this much clearer just because this is HD footage. There was a lower res version of this earlier in the series, so it was kind of hard to tell what was happening in this scene. But it's hard to tell here if he's conflicted about what he just did. There's still blood on the shield. It is probably happening pretty soon right after he kills that dude. It still seems like he's in full Hulk out mode, just looking around, not completely realizing what's happening in the moment, seeing all these people with their camera phones recording everything. Like he's still got rage in his eyes, like he hasn't come down from that yet. So the big question here in this moment before they start fighting is whether or not he's actually conflicted about what just happened, what he just did, or if that only pushes him further down the path, like causing him to dig his heels in further, as opposed to taking a beat to consider his actions. We all expected him to go off the rails, so obviously when he did that during episode 4, not a huge surprise. I would have liked to see it happen a little bit earlier too. Like even though the series is only 6 episodes, they did pull the taffy just a little bit on him going off the rails. But clearly Bucky and Falcon are there to ask him to either step down or hit the bench for a timeout. Like hit the locker room pal, you just fouled yourself out of the game. Then based on the other footage of this warehouse fight in the other trailers, it seems like they just throw down, each taking turns, chucking the shield at each other. Like you see Falcon here holding the shield, throwing it back at John Walker. Bucky also probably winds up throwing it too. I'm hoping that even if they don't wind up going for it in this fight scene here, this three-way fight scene, they at least at some point try to do a similar version of the Captain America Civil War fight scene where Captain America and Bucky tag team Iron Man using the shield. Only you have Falcon and Bucky tag teaming John Walker. But notice in some of the other footage you see at night with this big convoy attack against the Flag Smashers, you see John Walker with the shield and it looks like there's no more blood on it so it looks like he cleans it off at some point. So I'm assuming that that means that during this big warehouse fight here, their big three-way Mexican standoff, good, the bad, and the ugly style, they do not wind up getting the shield back from him. But now we're basically at the point where they're having the literal and metaphorical battle for the shield because they're also fighting over who has the right to be Captain America and wield the shield. Like they're like, okay, we don't want anybody else to get hurt. So you need to stop right now. Obviously, John Walker is probably going to be like, hell no, I'm not going to stop. 
because there's another scene here with John Walker in what looks like his military dress uniform, maybe later in a scene in some kind of office. Maybe this is after the footage of him killing the Flag Smashers that everyone was recording goes wide and the military has to pull him in to question him over it. Like, okay, what just happened here? This is a PR nightmare. And he's just trying to defend his actions. Like he yells in that clip, I am Captain America. Like if he yells it loud enough, it must be true. As if he's trying to use his identity as Captain America, the Captain America name to justify his use of deadly force. But then really big callback you guys probably noticed in this new footage. There's a new scene of Falcon back at Isaiah Bradley's house outside. You can actually see that it's the same front porch, but it's a new scene because he's talking about not letting anyone tell him whether or not he has the right to fight for it. Probably talking about the shield, the Captain America name, what the Captain America name stands for just in general. So I'm wondering if he's having this conversation with Isaiah Bradley instead of having it with Bucky because I always assumed that they would circle back around for more Isaiah Bradley story because they just kind of teased him during episode two and they use his story over being this OG version of Captain America from the 1950s, this sort of in-between period when regular Steve Rogers cap was in the ice. The whole story about how the US military exploited him trying to recreate the super soldier serum is a way to help Falcon come around on wanting to be the next Captain America. Like it's not Bucky who convinces him to take the shield back, it's Isaiah Bradley who convinces him. I was still crossing my fingers, holding out hope for an Isaiah Bradley flashback scene to a younger version of him just kicking Winter Soldier's ass during the 1950s. And because episode 5 and episode 6 are both longer than 60 minutes, they definitely have the room for it in those episodes. It's not really clear when he goes back to see Isaiah again, but there is a ton of other footage of this Flag Smasher attack in the streets, with more John Walker Captain America still having the shield, like I said, during the attack. Not really clear when this scene is happening during the episode too, but I think just because there's no blood on the shield during this attack scene, it's probably much later in the episode. Like this might be at the end of episode five. They have some really cool action scenes in the trailer too, like Bucky using his motorcycle here. We've seen the motorcycle footage before, but they actually include way more of it. So you see him purposefully crashing it into the barrier to throw himself at this flag smasher at extra high speed. That's like them doing the exact opposite move of Captain America throwing his motorcycle at the Hydra soldiers during Avengers Age of Ultron. Then you just see him duking it out with the same flag smasher in the street, just kicking his butt. We see John Walker with that evil looking smile on his face, throwing the shield at Kari. She kicks it away. So obviously there's a big fight there. And this would be after John Walker has realized what his strength is with the super soldier serum. I'm sure at some point during episode five, they'll also address him taking the serum because we all believe that he did. I'll be interested to see if after all this, like the whole idea of them trying to take the shield, the title away from him, or at least getting him to chill out for a while, if he'll just double down and try to kill all these other flag smashers here during this fight as well. Like you all looked at me funny, that is justification for me killing every single one of you on the spot. There's also some other footage from the other trailers of Falcon training with the shield down at his home in Louisiana. That actually might be from the finale. And then the Flag Smashers pulling a larger attack in motion inside this huge building with all the different masks, which seems like some kind of attack on the GRC itself. That could always be from episode six. They also still have to go grab Zemo and rein him back in. That's probably what the footage of Winter Soldier confronting him at the memorial to Sokovia is all about. The funny thing about that, that footage was actually released back at D23 in 2019, almost a year and a half ago. Damn, that was a long time ago. Blame the virus. We were actually supposed to get Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes first around August last year. That's how long ago we were supposed to be watching this. I think the whole reason why they released WandaVision first is because they shot most of that on a studio back lot and it took longer to finish Falcon and Winter Soldier because they had to travel around to a couple different countries to film and that just became impossible during the virus shutdown. But they still have to resolve the Io and Dora Milaje Black Panther storyline. They may have taken off when Zemo bolted during episode four, but they still want him really bad. So they'll have to follow up with them before the end of the finale and how they're going to resolve that standoff, them bringing him to justice, Black Panther's justice, while also setting up the whole concept of the Thunderbolts team in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like Zemo would probably have to go back to prison either in Germany, that same prison, or go back to Wakanda and be in prison there. But they still have to establish that Thunderbolt Ross somehow offers him some kind of deal or will offer him a deal in the future, just teasing Thunderbolts down the road. I don't know when they actually have plans to do that Thunderbolts project, probably Disney Plus series in a couple of years. They haven't announced it formally. There's only been talk of Falcon and Winter Soldier setting up the Thunderbolts along with a couple other movies and Disney Plus series. 
they probably won't wind up doing an actual Thunderbolt series until they bring back a few more big villains that we've seen before and introduce a couple new ones. So maybe like 2023, 2024. We'll see just based on the way they wind up ending Falcon and Winter Soldier. So I'll do more Thunderbolts videos after the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale. I am expecting some kind of WandaVision style post credit scenes. So far, there have not been any post credit scenes for the Falcon and Winter Soldier episodes. By the time we got in the last few WandaVision episodes, they had started to do post credit scenes, but there were nine episodes of WandaVision and there are only six episodes of Falcon and Winter Soldier. So they just had way more opportunities to do that with WandaVision. So everyone just post all your Falcon and Winter Soldier post credit scene theories in the comments below. Like Thunderbolt Ross or someone else coming along to offer Zemo and John Walker a spot on the Thunderbolts, maybe Kari Morgenthau too. And then just setting Falcon up as the new Captain America with his brand new Captain America suit from the comics. If you haven't seen it, it's probably going to look something similar to the comic book version. Along with maybe some other Wakanda Black Panther 2 Dora Milaje references just to tease what's happening next with some of those characters because there's been so much of that happening in this last episode. There is going to be a Black Panther spin-off Disney Plus series too, so I'm also kind of hoping that they use the Io Dora Milaje storyline to kind of set that up. Ryan Coogler is going to be doing that himself, but he hasn't said too much about that because they've mostly been focusing on getting Black Panther 2 going. They're going to be filming that movie this summer. I don't know if Winter Soldier is supposed to show up during that, but Bucky would be the likely cameo if you're going to have some connection between Black Panther 2 and Falcon and Winter Soldier. Because even though we're expecting all these characters to come back in Avengers 5, it's going to be years, a long time before Avengers 5 happens. So they have to come back and cameo in at least one other movie before then. Let me know in the comments, which movie would you want to see both of these characters come back in, even if they don't come back together? And speaking of Falcon and Winter Soldier Season 2, Sebastian Stan said he did just talk to Kevin Feige and have a conversation about doing a Season 2. He said he would totally be down to come back for that, but they don't have a story in place for what that Season 2 would be. So it may or may not wind up happening, but it does sound like Marvel is open to it. What's going to happen though, in the next couple of weeks, we'll get Episode 5 and Episode 6. There aren't going to be any breaks, but there will be a little break between the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale and Loki Episode 1. Between then, there's going to be some Star Wars Disney Plus series that will be dropping, so there will be new episodes of Star Wars stuff coming. So make sure you have alerts enabled for my channel so you don't miss any of those videos. Leave all your requests in the comments below. While you wait for everything, click here for that other Falcon and Winter Soldier Episode 5 trailer video, and click here for my full Falcon and Winter Soldier Episode 4 video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys tonight.